Hello YouTube, I'm Danny Galuli, and this is my tutorial in lip syncing using Adobe Flash. And I'm going to be using Adobe Flash CS3 to demonstrate this technique, but as far as I know it should work about the same in future versions of Flash. Okay, so I'm going to be teaching you two different techniques in lip syncing. One I call the swap method, and the other I call the nesting method. And before I begin, it should be noted that my method of lip syncing, particularly with the mouth shapes I use, it's not going to create the quality of lip sync that you'd get in like a Disney cartoon or something like that. It's more going to look like kind of like a South Parky kind of style of lip sync, which gets the job done. It might not be stylistically what you want, though, if you want really high quality lip sync, but it's fine enough for me. You can see what my lip sync method kind of looks like in some of my cartoons. I'll put some annotation links and some links in the description to those. But anyways, so first off, you need to design your mouths. And I've already designed all my mouths. I have each of them as a movie clip in the library. And... You can design your own using the mouth guide thing. I have, it's a, there's a link to it in the description. I have a, an image that gives you a guide to all the basic mouth shapes I use, or you can actually just download the FLA file that has all of these mouth shapes in it. I actually, I'm gonna provide that. You can just use that. Or I would actually recommend, uh, you know, I mean, you can experiment with your own thing. I use nine mouth shapes, nine basic mouth shapes, but you might wanna experiment using more because the mouth doesn't make just nine shapes when you're talking, it makes a lot more. But anyways, so I have all these different mouth shapes. I use nine mouth shapes as I mentioned. So for the swap method, I'm just going to take one of these. I'll take the kind of A mouth shape. This kind of, this would be for like a, an ah sound or an A sound, maybe. So now what you would do, it, we're just going to pretend that there's audio here. So you would play the audio until you hear the sound change. So let's pretend that it's going from ah to an E sound. So if you were doing that, you'd go to the point in the timeline where the E starts. You'd have to listen for it. What you can do is you can go down here under movie clip and go under swap, swap symbol. And then you can just switch it for the E mouth shape. And that works pretty good. It just, it the mouth changes. And let's say next it's going to make a V kind of sound, a V sound. So you'd find in the timeline where that would start and you'd make a keyframe. That's what you do. Um, I do that by pressing F6, or you can go under insert and keyframe if you want. And so then what you do, you can press Q, or you can just click on that. And it's under swap. And let's make a, it do a V thing. As you can see, the mouth kind of changes, ideally along with the sound file. So that's one method. Personally, I don't prefer that method, though, because it takes a bit of time, and sometimes it doesn't work. If you aren't careful and you don't make sure that your mouth shapes match up exactly, it kind of might make it weird. Like, you might have to, oops, like, that doesn't match up really, so you'd have to adjust it, which you don't want to do. So how you can do this effect and save a bit more time is you can use the nesting method. What you do for the nesting method is you compile all of these different mouth shapes into one graphic clip. Instead of a movie clip, you use a graphic clip. So this is my happy mouths graphic clip. And let's look in the actual graphic clip. As you can know, each frame has a different mouth shape. They're all compiled into one graphic clip. Now, if I want to be able to switch between them, first, don't make it loop, because if you have it under the loop setting, I'm just going to press F5 to extend the timeline, it'll do this. And that's not what you want, because that's just crazy, and it won't match up with your 
audio. So what you want to do is you just do a single frame, have it set under single frame, and now if you play it, it just stays the same. But let's say you want to change it to an E sound. What you can do is you go under, you keep it under single frame, but you go to first frame that's going to play is frame two. So now if you play it, it switches to the E. And now let's say we want it to make a V sound again. You can do three, because on my file it's frame three of the graphic flat file. So you'd see it's frame three that makes is the V shape. So that's the basic technique I use. So again, this is the nesting method, is I have it all in one graphic clip, and you just are able to have it be one frame. And that works pretty well for me. I'm going to do another video where I actually demonstrate an example where I'm going to actually be lip syncing using the nesting method with actual audio. So you can kind of get a sense of how that would work. But thank you for watching and um, feel free to check out some of my other videos. I have some other tutorials and feel free to write a comment or give me some feedback or tell me about some of your own experiences using Flash or some of your own techniques. I mean, I'm sure you might have some better techniques of doing lip sync in the comments. And yeah, thank you for watching.